Those two guys loading the boxes are with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. In the Trump investigation, they have subpoenaed and are receiving documents and a computer belonging to that woman in the blue mask, Jennifer Weisselberg. She's the daughter-in-law of Trump's chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg. Have you specifically talked with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office? Multiple times. Okay. And it's not over. And that's because prosecutors are trying to flip Alan Weisselberg, and they're hoping to leverage the potential legal exposure of his son, Jennifer's ex-husband, Barry. I am not a woman who is willing to live a life of secrecy out of fear any longer. Barry and Jennifer Weisselberg lived rent-free courtesy of the Trumps in this luxury New York apartment building. It could raise legal and tax issues. Barry Weisselberg also ran the cash-only Trump ice skating rinks in Central Park. Jennifer, who went to the 2016 inauguration with her then-husband and his parents, says her ex and his father are cut from the same cloth. Alan Weisselberg is defined by what Donald thinks about him, by about saving him money regardless. Prosecutors suspect Allen and Barry Weisselberg, with Trump's involvement, crossed the line into bank fraud and tax fraud. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. The collection of financial records and documents from Jennifer Weisselberg underscores the pressure prosecutors are putting on Donald Trump's chief financial officer and his family. Will Allen Weisselberg and his son Barry stay loyal to Donald Trump? Jennifer Weisselberg isn't so sure, but there are signs that Trump himself fears the worst about the Manhattan grand jury investigation. Trump has now hired a New York criminal defense attorney. The Trump organization confirms that Ronald Fischetti will represent the former president and the organization. Fischetti has spent decades working as a criminal defense attorney in both state and federal court. He's also a former law partner of Mark Pomerantz, the former federal prosecutor leading the Manhattan Trump case. Witnesses have reportedly told Pomerantz that the Trump Organization overinflated property values to obtain bank loans and underinflated asset values to decrease taxes. Fischetti says prosecutor Pomerantz, who we worked with for eight years, is straight as an arrow. We are both professionals, so there won't be any problems. Legal experts say it's a smart move by Trump to bring on a criminal defense attorney who already has a strong relationship with the key prosecutor. It means Trump probably won't get surprised or blindsided by big developments in this case, including potential indictments. The connection could also help Trump if he wanted to consider or discuss a potential deal. In the meantime, Trump and his family insist they've done nothing wrong. As for Trump's chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, there is every indication he has not yet provided the kind of information or knowledge the prosecutors believe he has. So the effort to turn up the heat on Weisselberg and his son continues. It's not unusual for prosecutors to squeeze family members of key investigation witnesses. In fact, this strategy happens every day in criminal investigations across the United States. The difference in this one, of course, is that this investigation is targeting Donald Trump, the former president. Jennifer Weisselberg says she is speaking out now because of what she describes as a repugnant effort by her ex-husband in their bitter child custody dispute. I absolutely wish that I personally didn't have the attachment to somebody that has the same ethics as the Trump Weisselberg family. Those ethics of the Weisselbergs and Donald Trump are now under the microscope in the Manhattan DA's criminal investigation. And by all accounts, the investigation is intensifying.